Good morning, everyone. Today, we get to be inventors. So last week, you guys learned a little bit that, about the engineering process. Today, you get to apply that engineering process and become an inventor. So this is your now inventor's notebook, and you get to invent anything in the world that gets to help you or someone in your family or one of your friends or anyone and that can help them in their any everyday life do absolutely anything. So I am going to walk you through every step of your inventor's notebook and you can start it today. And this is the only thing you have to do all week and it will be due on Friday, okay? So this is your first page and all you have to do is type your first name or you can type if you want to come up with a company name and make your company, you can put your company on here. That's completely up to you. And then I just gave you this page. It's kind of the invention process. So what you need to do is you identify a problem. Then you come up with an idea to solve your problem. You make sure that your invention has not already been created. You design your invention. You create a prototype. You test your invention. And then you apply for a patent. So on this page, what you have to do is you have to find seven different problems that you have seen at your home, outside, um, that maybe your parents have, that maybe your uh, siblings have, grandma and grandpa, someone in your life, seven problems that someone in your life has, maybe you, anybody, and seven possible solutions to those problems. Now those possible solutions are going to become one of your inventions, okay? Pretty cool. And then on the next page, you can pick three top three problems that you have, top three of those problems, and then you can find two to three inventions, possible inventions that you can use to solve those problems. And then you have to think, can those inventions be made? Would it be possible to make those inventions? So you need to think logically here. Like maybe a possible problem is that your brother and sister just constantly come in your bedroom and annoy you. And then you're thinking, oh, I can make something that makes them disappear. Is that possible to make it? Mm, probably not, okay? So you need to think possibility. Can you actually build something that's going to work? Yes or no? And you'll use these little X's for the yes or no, okay? And you'll just take them and drag them over. And then you have to use the internet and you have to search. So after you find your three problems, you have to pick one of the inventions above to actually create your invention on, okay? And then after you do that, you have to start researching. So does this product already exist? And does something similar to it already exist? And when you find it, you have to put the name of the product that's similar here where can you find that product? Is it at Walmart? Is it at Target? Is it at Rite Aid, CVS? Do they sell it at um, the hardware store? Where can I find it? And then how is your invention different from this invention? Oop, hold on one second. Just kidding, my phone stopped ringing. Okay, so how is your product different from that? And if your product isn't different at all, then you need to think about how you can make your product different because you don't want to make the same product because that's not allowed. That's actually kind of stealing and we don't want to do that. And then what you need to do is you need to draw your product and you need to put a description of it. So I know you can't draw on Google Slides, so what you'll have to do is you have to draw it on a piece of paper, take a picture of it, and upload it to this Google post. So you have to draw your product, put a description of it, and then upload your picture to this Google post. And then it says that you're going to make it if you have the products laying at home, so just things that laying at home where you can make it, you're more than welcome to, but you do not have to make it. So what you're going to do is, what would be the steps if you were to make it? How would you make it? If you were telling someone, this is how you make my product, what would be the steps in order to make it? So step one, what would you do? Step two, what would you do? And so on. There are eight steps. And after you tell us how to make it, draw a picture to go along. 
So just as if you were building a Lego set, how in step one, it tells us how to do this. Step two, it tells us how to do this. And it shows us pictures. I want you to do the same thing. And for each picture, you can even do these two pages um, on a piece of paper and upload those pictures onto this Google post if that's easier for you. And then come up with some names for it. And then this is the last page. So you come up with your name, give us a catchy slogan, give us that final draft of your picture, describe your invention here. Where in the real world would it be used at? And then why is it important right here? Okay. Be very creative with this and have fun. Think about what people need in the world. Think about what might sell to different people. Have fun with it. And if you have any questions, feel free to give me an email, okay? Remember, this is due on Friday. All right, guys, have fun. If you need any help, let me know.